that's why they throw them in a prison. They want rape in them. They want their, their kundalini raped. And um, they want the youth kundalini raped. They don't want to make sure that God only says they know if they can keep the black man and woman apart, but they can't be, uh, become gods. They can't rise to the frequency. So my message is this for black women. <clears throat> I want you to understand one thing, and you better make sure you understand this. You were so, and you are so, so very important in the cosmic scheme in America. And I'm talking about only Judah, black American, Judaism, constitutional covenant women. You are so important, important in this cosmic scheme of everything that the 15th Buffalo soldiers died gladly for you. Don't ever say a black man ain't died. These was God men. God men will die for you. And they did. White men died for you. Red men died for you. And even some brown died for you. They died for you. They died for you. You have married DNA. You're the primordial womb of the cosmic. They died for you. So when we see these later controlled puppets come out against somebody like Shirley Sherrod, we understand they're mingled up and mangled up in Babylon. And these are the men that's supposed to be with black women. But see, they will, they will stand as the example of his weakness to attack his woman first. See, because these are the educated. These are the educated. And they, they are the, supposed to be the educated. Now, if this is the educated, if this is the educated, what we understand about the uneducated is they may be a lot more intelligent than the so-called educated ones. The educated ones may have a lot of dung smeared in the brain. Um, some of the educated ones are these black ones also to get a degree. And the first thing they do is they go with bomb woman. Wait till you find out their, <laughs> wait till you find out how much they done bamboozled themselves. Wait till you find out. So I said I would divert, but the electoral college is now, it is married to black America. I can prove everything I say. So President Obama do not have to leave the White House. 1600 is the address of the White House. Square rooted, that's 40 acres. 40 acres investment went in there. Lock, stock, and barrel owned by blacks. Lock, stock, and barrel and constitutional supremacy contract. You could run around with your string of hair, pink skin, your Drake Hans and satanic masters are falling out the sky. Gentiles, your time is up. It was up in 2009. How the heck you think uh, a black woman walks into the White House and with, with her mother? Your time is up, and you can't get it back. Yeah, you think you're going to throw them out with a dumb contract by having anybody that comes to America to say they all supreme the Constitution. You know, it's really silly, silly evil. And the question is, if the 15th Amendment vote guaranteed in the Constitution don't matter, then you're telling me that, your vote don't matter either because your vote is not even as powerful as the 15th Amendment in the Constitution. So if you're telling me that vote don't matter, then that's clearly saying your vote don't matter. Because uh, if the 15th don't matter and it's in the supreme law of the land, how in the heck you think yours matter? Why? Because you're dealing with uh, uh, an, uh, 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 a state-controlled uh, electorate. No, honey. See, you said you want, they say they wanted it on the state level. But they want to use a national constitutional amendment, the 11th Amendment. And this is what the dung public do. They think they can have it any way they want to, because anything goes in a dung public. You know, you can be caught, you're, you're an alien, but yet a general term is American citizen. You're not an American citizen. American citizenship has been non consented since 1868, sealed in 1870 by the New Jerusalem Wall was the 15th Amendment. That 15th Amendment sealed off all the BS later. Even the uh, U.S. Corporation, which is the mule, came in 1871, and it sits next to the 15th Wall, catching all the filth and then processing it and then uh, defecating it out, but holding on to what belongs to Judah, because Judah owns everything. You think, uh, you know, the Most High put his soul on the line for 400 years for nothing? You really don't, you really don't know the Most High. 
you really don't know the most high. Honey, everything have a reason to it. And so black people took the whip not to be controlled by Dracons and, and to go to hell. So when this time comes like it is now, they're falling from the sky. And uh, the majority of these people calling themselves Americans are Americans or Americans. They can't overthrow the constitutional contract. Trampling, infringement, and all they can trample an infringement by the whole world. It won't change the contract. The whole world can trample and infringe. They, the whole world can come to America, trample and infringe, and say blacks are poor and in prison because they feel so successful in their trampling and and, and um infringement. Their success is the bragging. All oh, y'all in prison, all oh, y'all in the ghetto. They successfully brag about the attrition in blacks and trampling in them, but it didn't change that contract. Just because they gave you a little green grass foolery uh, stolen from Judah. Yeah, Judah owns the Met, Jack. Judah owns the Federal Reserve by supreme contract. So your money changes and exchanging and bartering with some money that was stolen by embezzling from the constitutional contract, constitutional heirs. And that little embezzlement that you changed back and forth is like Christ used to call them was the money changers. Well, the money changers are not the wealth. It's just an exchange of money. The wealth is in the supreme contract. The supreme contract owns the mule that all of the Americans contract with and are crapped out as dung contractors. So their votes are dung contract votes. <laughs> their votes are dung contract votes. Now, we getting back to this three-fifths as the 60%. Now, when blacks became full-fledged citizens um, and uh, national persons in 1866, national persons of inheritance, which means non-consent national jurisdiction. That means Washington became non-consent national jurisdiction. Everything became non-consent national jurisdiction and governance, which means that the uh, black people are co-extensive with the Constitution. Coextensive means that they have the full-fledged power of the Constitution from the beginning to the end. That's what coexistence. They are coextensive, 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 which means they have the full-fledged. In other words, blacks are the walking Constitution. Now you think because we are small in numbers, well, God chose us because we was the few. That doesn't mean we're supreme. Royalty is few. Royalty is a few. If it wasn't a few of them, they wouldn't be royalty. I mean, they would be common, okay? Like the common Americans can't and uh in and, 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 uh and Americans in here and the majority talking about they heard. Yeah, they're common. They're common dumb contractors. So um now the fact of it is the 60% when we became full constitutional citizens with the small C, because some people want to make a big deal out of the small C. The small C means constitutional. The big C is for corporate dung contractors. The, we don't need birth certificates and all this. The Constitution is our birth certificate. We don't need the recertification for housing, this and that. When, since when do the Constitution need to be recertified? These are tyranny drones pretending to have a job in housing, public assistance, welfare, uh, uh, disabled uh, transportation, entitlements, all they do is tyranny. All they do is tyrannize constitutional citizens. Since when do the Constitution need to be uh, uh, 